Welcome to this presentation of Atlas V from Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. This presentation I'm going to demonstrate uploading about 10,000 journal lines into a general ledger journal. Each of the journal lines is a customer invoice that have come from an old system or previous system. I want to get these unpaid invoices into AX. So my journal is 10,000 lines long. The definition I have in my spreadsheet for upload at the moment doesn't actually include the invoice column which I want up to go with the upload. I have the invoice number in my description but I'd also like the invoice number to come through. So I'm just going to switch to designer. I have a name range called invoice which I want to map to. So I need to add a field to my journal lines. That field number will be the invoice number field. As is often the case, the labels in AX may not uh, be unique enough to help me define which column I actually want to upload into. So I'm going to show system names to help me get a better understanding of which column. So invoice looks like the one I want. That's added invoice to the definition. I'm going to right click and add that name range in to that mapping exercise. Now when I switch back to my standard mode and actually run the import, the journal number column will be updated also or go with the upload. I simply need to go to confirmation and click upload. Now to cut this video short, this upload of 10,000 records did take 18 minutes and the journal number has been delivered by AX as Atlas supports number sequences has come back to me as to what's required to be posted in AX I've also included it in, in the cell of my spreadsheet as well. So I'm going to call up AX and just have a look at my journal. It should be unposted. It is possible to call a job to post that journal uh, should I need to automatically and that can be assigned to the properties of the upload itself. That Upon a successful upload to call a particular AX job on success or failure and you can pass in the journal number that was created. So my journal is here. I'll click on the lines. It's a very big journal, so it might take a X bit of time to present that to me. And that's in. So all those general lines have come in. All 10,000 rows have come in. One line per invoice into AX. And I simply now have to post it. The data has been validated. Now, during the import process, the import would have not created a journal had there been any violation errors. So this has been Atlas uh, importing around 10,000 rows into a journal. In this particular case, it took about 18 minutes. Thank you very much.